Hi everyone, this is Imran. Today in this video training, I'm gonna show you how you can create and add a beautiful responsive gallery on your WordPress website. Let's see the gallery I'm going to create in this video training. Here is the gallery. If you hover over here, here you can see nice effect. You can display the text, title and social share icon. And I'll use a free plugin to create this gallery so you won't have to spend any money. So let's see if I click on this image, it shows in a light box. And on the bottom, here you can see the text again. And if I click on here, you can directly go to the next page. Okay. So let's get to be started here is the plugin i'm gonna use to create this gallery and i will create this gallery in four simple steps firstly i'll install this plugin secondly i'll add images to the gallery and i'll add the short code in a page and then i'll configure the setting so let's start with the first step just install the plugin here i'm on the dashboard of my wordpress website and from the plugins, I'm going to click on add new. Here, I'm going to search for modular. And here goes the plugin, I'll install now. Just click on this button, install now. And click activate. Now on the left, here you can see Modula, a new menu and it has got several sub menus like gallery, settings, import, export and migrate. Let's start with galleries to create a gallery. Here you can see galleries. At the moment, we don't have any gallery and here goes all the extensions and suggest a feature, but we are going to directly go to add new to create a gallery. Just click here on add new and firstly type the name of the gallery. I'm gonna name it nature. You can name anything and here goes albums upsell. I'm just going to collapse it and here is the gallery and here you can see drag and drop files here. So I'm gonna click this button upload images. Here goes all the images. I have selected all the images and click this open button and it will automatically uh, upload all the images. Well, I have uploaded some images. Now let's scroll down and here goes the respective setting options of these galleries. Now what I'm going to do click over here to save this gallery just click over here and our second step is done by this time we have installed the plugin we have created a gallery so let's move on to step 3 just display this gallery okay you can display this gallery in any page or any post you can display it to any existing pages here you can see i have many pages or you can display in any brand new page here you can see my home page is designed with elementor you can add or display using elementor or default gutenberg the process are the same say for example i'm going to show you how you can add this short code using the Gutenberg editor. Just pretty simple. Click over here this plus sign and you, you will see Modula Gallery. If you don't see, just search for Modula. Okay, just click over here and it will be added here. And click over here and you will select a gallery. Okay, and the gallery will be displayed automatically. Pretty interesting. Okay, 
this was for Gutenberg and hit update and let's see the preview here it is okay just forget this we are going to add the gallery in a home page okay here goes our home page and we are gonna add here and you can see we have designed this page with Elementor just click over here edit with Elementor now I'm going to create a section if I hover over here you can see this plus sign to create a section I'm going to click on this plus sign and I'm going to choose on column row okay now I'm going to click on this plus sign to get the available wizards and I'm going to search for modular here you can see and grab it drag and drop here okay and here you can see under modular choose or select any gallery and here you can see our gallery nature and fantastic okay I'm going to hit update and if I get back to the home page here you can see our gallery so now let's move on to the final step we are going to configure and just change the color of the title is and everything okay so I was here and now we are going to uh, move to this setting options okay once you have created a gallery you will see respective settings below the gallery okay here goes general settings and gallery type is creative now our gallery is creative but what about other gallery types you can create custom grid columns just custom grid and it will show as grid if I hit update here you can see the look of custom grid okay it doesn't look cool so what I'm going to do I'm going to select columns and type of column automatic or three columns and from the keyboard press ctrl s to save the gallery and again refresh this page and here goes it okay so I'm going to get back to the creative gallery again because I think it's great and here you can see gutter gutter means the space between the images here is the space and you can manually set how many pixels will be there and with 100% and image size medium but I think you should select large and from here you can adjust the height and random factor shuffle images if you enable it then this images order will be automatically changed okay and save again I'm gonna refresh this okay nice let's see other setting options like light box and link and here you can see open images in light box of course and uh, if you click on this image and here you can see the light box so open images in light box and caption and filter is available in the pro version so so let's see the caption and title color change the title color to white and you can also hide the title okay and title font size say for example 36 pixel and in the mobile it will be like 16 pixel and hide or show the caption okay if you are done then press ctrl s 
and let's see social here you can enable the social icon to share your gallery enable share on twitter share on facebook whatsapp and linkedin then this icons will appear on the image and color okay let's save it and reload the gallery if i hover over here you, here you can see the social icons okay and see the loading effects okay you can enable loading view and finally the hover effect here you can see for the free version we can select from this one to this one okay but this one is by default selected so leave it as it is and go to the style from here you can add border to the images just uh, at the moment the gallery image doesn't have any border but you can add border okay and you can set border radius and border color and go to speed up you can enable lazy load to speed up the gallery and let's see custom images only the one option we have for the free version and others are available in the pro version you can add custom css here okay hit update and reload this page okay the problem is here you can see our gallery has three columns but if you would like to do like that then you will have to go to general and go to columns and three column hit update reload or refresh this page now you can see it has three columns okay it will depend on the gallery type you have selected from the gallery type okay and i'm going to add caption to this image just edit this and here i'm going to add this text save and close hit update gallery and refresh it and here you can see on the hover it shows the title and text and if i click on here and on the bottom you can see the caption text so friends i hope i could show you how you can easily add an image gallery on your wordpress website thank you for watching hope to see you in the next video so don't forget to like this video share it and hit the subscribe button